Hi guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm spirit led, cornbread fed. I am in the south, y'all, as we step into the universal energies. I don't know who this reading is for. We're going to jump into it. We're going to invite in the spirit of wisdom and truth. We're going to ask the divine energies to let it be great. Let it be great for us, whoever this reading is for, right? So we're going to let that do its thing. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Let me know where it resonates with you. And let's see. Who is this reading for, Spirit? Who is this reading for? I told y'all I could feel y'all pulling on my energy earlier. So make sure you check the description box and everything. Link up with that TikTok. There's some interesting stuff going on in TikTok. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Okay, some adjustments are required. And remember the squeaky will get the oil. So whatever is standing out, that's definitely what you need to adjust. If you're thinking about it, that's that's what it is. Let's see, who is this reading for? Who is this reading for, Spirit? So I'm going to take all of that. Who is this reading for? Because if that's the case, it's collective, right? We'll see if that comes out. If, if it come out like that again, it's just going to take it out. Because we have to be obedient, right? Gemini. Adjustments are required, Gemini. Underlying energy. Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. Personal issue reaches resolution. Let's get a little bit on this, Gemini. Go check out your other video. Uh, you had a video earlier as well. So let's see what's going on. Remember, energies do shift. It's divine timing, y'all. That's a lot, Spirit. Can you break it down for us a little bit more like a pound? Fourth chakra. Relationship. Heart. Heart issues. Relationship that three and then eight. Uh, makes me look and connection makes me feel like it's a cycle that's been going on and on. That's why adjustments are needing to be um, made. The answers you need, they are coming, and hopefully, I help to bring some to you. Third chakra, Archiel, um, your power center, right? Your gut feelings, trusting your gut feelings about this divine masculine or divine feminine. Something coming to an uh, end, right? Whatever you adjust, and you're literally gonna have to stop and turn around, stop and make the move, uh, stop and go, or stop and turn, make a U turn, gotta make a U turn. Anything else out of this dead spirit? So we break this thing down. We know it's relationship, action. Mm. So just there'll be some action required to. But you're gonna have to stop, then go. Let's see what's this about give us some information on this but well, give us some information on this uh but we already know what adjustments need to be made we know it in our heart and our good it's lining up right it's lining up the fourth and the third chakra the power center of our relationship could be a power couple could be about to move into uh some kind of relationship as a power couple right the divine said a caring connection Right, taking a move after a loss, underlying energy. Right, somebody betrays you, of course. You're a Gemini, somebody always betraying the Gemini. They like to throw the rock and hide their hand, what I'm hearing. Yeah. They like to throw the rock and hide their hand. Nine of swords in reverse, right? Look, in the upright is you on the attack. In the reverse, they attacking you. Hmm. So, I guess, Gemini, it's time for you to be on the defensive instead of the offensive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, time for you to be on the defensive instead of the offensive. Three of Pentacles. Uh, get back to work. Keep on doing what you're doing. Right? You are protected. The, uh, but sacred divine energy protecting you. Right? Those cats. That's another cat symbolizing um, spirit, spiritual protection. Right, I feel like spirit is saying it's time for you to be on the defensive. Right, but spiritually though. 
right? Spiritually. You know, the spirits and you're definitely resilient. You definitely uh, know how to keep it going. I want to know what this three of pentacles is, though. So. Uh, nothing being said. Nothing being done. Just a whole bunch of watching. A whole bunch of looking. And usually in the uh, three of pentacles, in the traditional one, they do have two people on the side looking while you do your work. But it's like in this card, ain't nobody on the side. You just got this little frog on your shoulders like some telling you to go leap do something right but where are the people that's watching it's like they don't know or you thinking they watching and they not even watching and them not you do you letting that you watching them trying to see what they're going to do. They don't even know what's going on. They blindfolded. They can't see nothing. You trying to zoom in, but ain't no moves being made. Ain't no moves being made. And that's in work or love. That's work or love. What's the two of swords? What's, what's the resistance? The king, uh, you moving according to what's best for you. Right, you, the magician, making it happen. Gemini energy, powerful uh, realization, step into your divine power for success. Mm. Awesome, learn something new, go back to school, right? When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Let's get something on this current connection. Yeah, current connection. Oh, the 10 of swords in reverse, you went from the nine of swords in reverse to ten of swords in reverse, right? I feel like some stuff is being, when I said go on the offense, like whatever you got going on is a whole lot more than what they got going on. So you just stand your ground, right? The truth is about to come out about everything. All the betrayals, how they betrayed you, could be in work, could be in just this relationship. A lot of people are married to their money, so it could be they job or they relationship but something that you care about that betrayed you it's about to come out in the open look the sun and the knight of cups yeah it's on the way what well, was uh something was being hidden about the betrayal or something in this kind of connection is being hid about a, op uh, a knight of cups about a love opportunity King of Swords, somebody being torn, right? Because they don't want to break nobody's heart. Hmm. Somebody want to move on to do something different. They just don't know how. Look, action right behind care and connection. But somebody done moved on. Yeah, because this is not a stable relationship, right? This is a narcissistic relationship. Nine of uh, swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. That's so crazy. Yeah. It's time to let go of anxieties about this connection. And trust your intuition. Right? And make the necessary adjustments. What else on this nine of swords? <laughs> and then. In reverse again, temperance in reverse. But in this temperance card, either way you look at it, it's the same. So you could be mirroring each other. It could all be an illusion, right? The hand is quicker than the eye, the high priestess, right? It's not being said, it's not being done, ain't nothing being moved. Everything is out in the head. I told you it could be an illusion. Six of uh, swords not listening to your spirit guides in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse, not using your intuition. You're not using your intuition. Spirit is saying, you need to definitely take action, trust your good feeling, and make the necessary adjustments. Especially if you're going to come out of this lack of mentality, this lack state. Right? Not making the necessary adjustments. You, um... Killing your power, killing your intuition, killing your voice. Yeah. yeah it's time to uh, do something. 
make something happen. You see these pots boiling? Right? They is watching. You just so focused on you, you what you got going on. You can't see them, and that's good. Big you. Big you come through. I see you, Gemini. Make sure you go check out that other um, video I posted. You definitely probably gonna um, enjoy it. Like I said, this is moving away from lack mentality, right? Everybody that's gonna hurt you, everybody that tried to keep you in bonds and chains and in and, and toxic situations and put you on the shelf. You too big to be put on the shelf, baby. Time to break out, Gemini's. Enjoy. Namaste.